Hey, so I recently got a request for on the channel from M Ranger asking how to configure or stack Juniper switches, AKA how to configure a virtual chassis on Juniper. In this video, I show you how. So if you're not familiar with how stacking works or what a virtual chassis is, that's essentially when you take one standalone switch, that's say for this example has 10 ports and you pair it with another switch using one of its uplink cables between the two devices as a designated VC port. And once these devices are connected, they essentially function as one logical device. So now I only need to apply one configuration, yet I have double the port capacity. So instead of having 10 ports for a standalone device, I now have one device that has 20 ports. So what are the requirements in order to configure a virtual chassis on Juniper? So there's two main requirements in order for to bring this virtual chassis to life. And how you do that is f number one, verifying that both of these devices are running on the same version of code. Next, we need to configure a VC port between these two devices. And what that means is we're simply gonna take one of those network ports and we're just gonna tell the device, this is what it's gonna use to connect to a VC member. I'll show you exactly how that process works in just a second. Lastly is disabling split detection between these two devices. This is optional, but what it's gonna do is say if the backup switch right here goes down. By default, this primary switch would transition into a deactivated state because it lost its member. Disabling this behavior is just going to essentially allow this primary device to stay up in the case that the backup fails. So uh, enough chit chat. I'll go ahead and hop on my physical appliance. All right, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hop on the bottom switch, which is the HQ core switch. This is the switch that I want to function as master member zero in this virtual chassis configuration. So the first things first, I just wanna verify what version of code I'm running on because they need to match. Um, so this switch is currently running on code 12.3R6, sweet. And because this is the master, I'll go ahead and enter it into the edit tier of the configuration mode. And I just want to enable that split, uh, no split detection. Um, so I'll do a set virtual chassis, no split detection. That's it. I'll issue a commit and quit. So now that that's in place, lastly, I'll go ahead and configure the VC port between these two devices. For this setup, I'll be using port 10 uh, to function as the VC port between these two member switches. So I'll issue the command request virtual chassis VC port set. I'll specify the pick slot, which is going to be zero and the port, which is going to be 10 and I'll hit enter. And that is it. So now if I do a show virtual chassis VC port, I can see that port 10 has now been configured um, but it's currently down and that's because it's currently not connected to that other interface. All right, so I'll go ahead and move the console cable over to the new switch, verify the software that it's running and go ahead and configure this VC port between the two switches. One moment. So now if I hit enter, I can see the prompt changes to the new switch. If I do a show version, I can see, hey, this switch is running 12.3R6 as well. So that's great. And if I take a look at the show virtual chassis VC port, well, I don't see anything because it's not configured. So I'll go ahead and issue that command to configure the virtual chassis port on this side. VC dash port set pick slot zero port 10. And I'll hit enter and now, and that's it. So I'll hop back over to the master switch. I'll simply do a show virtual chassis. And now, now I can see that I'm still functioning, functioning as member zero present, uh, but the new switch has taken the role of FPC zero. So what does that mean? How can I verify that these two switches are connected outside of this output? Well, if I take a look at the show interface terse output, if you look here, these were my original ports that go all the way up to 11. I had a total of 12 ports. They all start with GE zero. But now if I take a look here, now that I have that second member associated with this VC, now I have an extra 12 ports that goes up to GE1011. Well, that is the end of this video. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for future videos. As always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next one.